Devika Rani was born as Devika Rani Choudhury on 30 March 1908 in Walter near Vishakhapatnam in present-day Andhra Pradesh into an extremely affluent and educated Bengali family. The daughter of Colonel Dr. Manmatanath Choudhury by his wife Leela Devi Choudhury. Devika's father, Colonel Manmatanath Choudhury, large landowning Jamindari family, was the first Indian Surgeon General of Madras Presidency. Devika's paternal grandfather, Durgadas Choudhury, was the Jamindar of Chattomohor Upojila, Pabna district of present day Bangladesh. Her paternal grandmother, Shukumari Devi, wife of Durga Das, was a sister of the Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore. Devika's father had five brothers, all of them distinguished in their own field, mainly law, medicine, literature. There were Ashutosh Choudhury, Chief Justice of Calcutta High Court during the British Raj, Jogesh Chandra Choudhury, and Kumund Nath Choudhury, both prominent Kolkata-based barrister, and Pawan Nath Choudhury, the famous Bengali writer, and Dr. Suhir Das Choudhury, a noted medical practitioner. The future chief of army staff Jayantonath Choudhury was Devika's first cousin. Their father were brother to each other. Devika's mother, Lila Devi Choudhury, also came from an equally educated family and was a niece of Rabindranath Tagore. Thus, Devika Rani was related through both her parents to the poet and Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore. Her father, Manmatanath Choudhury, was the son of the Shukumari Devi Choudhury, sister of Rabindranath Tagore. Devika Rani was sent to boarding school in England at the age of nine and grew up there after completing her schooling in the mid-1920s. She enrolled in the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art RADA, and the Royal Academy of Music in London to study acting and music. She also enrolled for courses in architecture, textile and design and even appreciated under the Elizabeth Arden. All of these courses, each of them a few months long, were completed by 1927 and Devika Rani then took up a job in textile design. In 1928, Devika Rani first met her future husband, Ivangsu Rai, an Indian barrister turned filmmaker who was in London preparing to school his forthcoming film, A Thorough A Throw of Dice. Rai was impressed with Devika's exceptional skill and invited her to join the production team of the film, although not as an actress. She readily agreed, assisting him in areas such as costume designing and art detection. The two also travelled to Germany for the post-production work where she had occasion to observe the filmmaking techniques of German film industry, specifically W. G. Pavsti and Fast Lang, inspired by their method of filmmaking. Devika and Himangsu Rai returned to India where Himangsu produced a film titled Parma in 1933. The film was his first talkie and like his previous films. It was a joint production between people from India, Germany and the United Kingdom. Rai, who played the lead role, decided to cast Devika Rani as the female lead, and this marked her acting debut. Karma is credited as having been the first English language talkie made by an Indian. It was one of the earliest Indian films to feature a kissing scene. The kissing scene involving Himaksu Rai and Devika Rani lasted for about 4 minutes. Achut Konna In 1936, the studio's next production was a tragedy drama that had Devika Rani and Ashok Kumar portraying the roles of an untouchable girl and a Brahmin boy who fall in love. The film is considered a landmark in Indian cinema as it challenged the caste system in the country. 
the casting of Devika Rani was considered a mismatch as the looks did not match the role of the poor untouchable girl by virtue of her upper class upbringing. Jibon Prabhat, released in 1937, saw a role reservable between Devika Rani and Ashok Kumar. She played a higher caste Bambi woman who is mistaken by society of having an extramarital affair with an untouchable man. Her next release, Ijat, in 1937, based on Romeo and Juliet, was set in the medieval period and depicted two lovers belonging to enemy clans in Maratha Empire. Durga, her only release in 1939, was a romantic drama that told the story of an orphan's girl and a village doctor played Ashok Kumar. Devika Rani was died of bronchitis on 9 March 1994, a year after the Rerik died in Bangalore. At her funeral, Devika Rani was given full estate honors. Following her death, the estate was on litigation for many years as the couple had no legal. Devika Rani remained childless throughout her life. In August 2011, the government of Karnataka acquired the estate after the Supreme Court of India passed the verdict in favor of them. Some film of Devika Rani, Karma, Jawane Ki Hawa, Mamta or Mia Bibi, Jivan Naya, Jani Bhumi, Achut Konna, Savitri, Jivan Prabhat, Ijat, Prem Kahini, Nirmala, Durga, Anjan, Hamari Bhat,